is not what I expected when you said we were going to Kansas. <laughs> So I think it's time we give you a proper introduction to the state of Kansas. Kansas is known as the Sunflower State, it's also known as the Jayhawk State, the Wheat State, and the Midway State, but we are going to show you a state of adventure. Sure, you know about the Kansas you've seen in the movies. You know the one where Dorothy's house gets blown away to Oz. But we're going to show you the real Kansas. As you can see right now, we're sitting on some beautiful sand dunes awesome stuff to do, and also Little Jerusalem, where it's got miniature badlands to go explore. There is so much to do in Kansas. This is both of our first times here, and we are so excited to show you all around Western Kansas. I don't know what it all means, but when I get really nervous, I take really big breaths out. Jerusalem Badlands State Park. Now this state park was only established three years ago in 2018 and before that it was private property. If you guys remember we've been following along we went to the Badlands in South Dakota and this looks exactly the same just a little bit smaller. So this 332 acre park is filled with all these geological formations that jut up to over a hundred feet tall. Now these formations are formed by the soft rock and the different formations of the clay and the sandstone and just over the hundreds and thousands of years the wind and the water eroded it to form these beautiful creations. Let's go check out the Badlands. So we are almost finished with our tour. I think we are looking up at the Overlook Point and we were lucky because we had a guide take us. And if you don't have a guide, you can't get down inside the canyons, but they do have free tours all year round. During the summer, it's mainly during the weekends, but uh, during the wintertime, they kind of change during the week. So we'll put some contacts on where you can find out what time the tours are for you to take. But if you guys are just exploring on your own and you don't have a guide, please stay on the trail. There are specific trail markers that you can't miss, but do not go off the trail because there is very delicate fauna that you need to keep intact. But the whole tour is amazing. This is, it's stunning. I mean, it's when you drive up, you really can't see much because you're pretty much on the top. But uh, I mean, there's just, it's, there's a beauty in the subtleties, like looking around, this was seafloor. So you'll see seashells, you'll see parts of oysters, parts of old clams. We're on the lookout for a shark's tooth. We haven't seen it yet, but <laughs> The guide has found several, so we're hoping we can find one before the day's out. And I'm amazed that this is not a national park. I mean, the sheer beauty of this and how it's just, you wouldn't know it. You wouldn't know that it's here from being on the highway. Like Scott said, it is below the ground and it is just the biggest gift to be able to walk up and see this presented to you. I mean, Mother Nature is truly a work of art. All right, so we just finished up at Little Jerusalem Badlands and the guide told us about a part that, an area that we have seen before in pictures, but we didn't know we were so close by. We were headed to Monument Rocks and the Chalk Pyramids. Now these are natural formations, very similar to where we came from, but instead of being eroded, these look like they've been 
pushed up out of the ground. So this should be fun, right? Should be very fun. And I think it's always fun when a local gets excited about something and says, oh my gosh, you haven't been there, you have to go. So we're going. Is this is one of those gems that you find when you listen to a local? I mean, it's not many people are here. It says on private land, so I guess it is. But uh, absolutely stunning, really cool to explore, and also very easy to access because you can pull right up next to it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't think this would be in Kansas. I am just so amazed. This is gorgeous. Highlight of my trip thus far. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Today we are back at it again. You know a lot of people say that Kansas is a dry state, but as you can see, we are surrounded by water. We are at the Cedar Bluff Reservoir State Park where we can do all sorts of cool activities. But uh, today we are kayaking and uh, how's it going Coco? It's a beautiful day, it's 75 and sunny and we're just surrounded by this beautiful reservoir and the Cedar Bluffs right in front of us. I mean, this is not what I had imagined in Kansas. So Cedar Bluff State Park has over 6,000 acres of reservoir and 1,000 acres of state park. Now it's the perfect place to get out on the lake. You can go kayaking, stand up paddle boarding, boating, and there's even camping here. So if you want to camp or bring your RV, you can do that and just enjoy the great outdoors here. Now there's also a BMX track. So if you're into that, it's just an adventurer's dream here at Cedar Bluffs. But it was an absolutely beautiful time kayaking on the water. And uh, now it's time to go hiking. Let's go. So this is a, a one mile easy loop. You get a little peek at the lake. And I think Clet said it best. This little grassland is very soothing. Little blue stems. stems. Little blue stems. Once common on the Great Plains, they grow well in dry uplands, prairies, and fields. That's where we are. So Colette has a strong irrational fear of tornadoes and she thought she saw one so I just I played it too. I saw a little baby one. <laughs> just a little one. Meanwhile, I wanted to be a tornado chaser after seeing Twister when I was little so how times have changed. There's no tornado. It's clear skies. <laughs> well, that's good. Did anyone see a tornado out there? I don't see one. <laughs> 